Hey guys and welcome to another GTA LCS 100% walkthrough video. Today I'll show you our hidden package locations in the game. Normally at the beginning you have access to only 36 packages, but there's a way to get to the other islands early and get the rest. Even with that method however you only be able to get 96 packages because 4 are locked until you pass certain missions. I'll show you every location, how to get to the other islands and which mission you need to pass in order to get all the packages in the game. After every 10 packages collected you'll get a certain reward and they are on the screen. So let's begin shall we, the first location is right next to your hideout over here and you need an ambulance to get on it. GTA LCS has the hardest package locations out of any other GTA game. So for a lot of them you need to do stun jumps, others are locked at the start and sometimes very well hidden and hard to reach even on foot. For this package make sure you have a fast bike, the PCJ600 is gonna do quite nicely, you can also do it in the freeway or in the Sanchez, it doesn't matter, what you do is speed up over here and crash. After you crash you're gonna end up on this roof and there's the first, or the second, I should say, package. And that's why the packages in Liberty City Stories are that much more difficult than the other games, because you have to do stuff like this. This is a very easy one, it's on the ground, which makes it very easy. Let's take it. Three packages. Behind the crusher, which was a very iconic thing in GTA 3, it's kinda like that in here too, but not as iconic. Next package. This one is Pretty well hidden, you may have some trouble finding it, but it's right over here, let me show you the surroundings, these are surroundings, yeah kinda difficult to see, that's the mansion, the Leone mansion, and this is the end of the walkway, the pier. This one is quite tricky, you may have to do it a few times in order to accomplish it, what you do is speed up in this place, like so, full speed, and you're gonna see a little ramp, and you have to take the little ramp, and land over here. Now you don't have to do this, you could also use, oh it fell in the water, you also could use a boat if you have access to boats. In order to get access to boats you have to go to Stoughton Island and steal a boat from there. At the ferry terminal which is a pretty hostile place at the beginning of the game, you have to find the next package is over here, let's make sure not to get killed or something, let's go, let's run away. And ok I'm safe. At the place where you can do the bumps and grind challenges, you can find another package. Just go to the biggest hill you see and it's right behind it. This one is pretty well hidden behind some caravans, they're not called caravans, I don't know what they're called, but let me actually show you the package which, one of the packages which is not yet possible to get. It's pretty close here. Let's locate it right over there. Now as you can see, let me get out of the bike. There is no possible way of getting an ambulance in here. So what you have to do is pass a mission, blow up this building and then fall onto it from the top of the roof. Because there is no possible way of getting an ambulance here and that's pretty much the only way of climbing to the roof. And that's why it's not possible at the very beginning of the game. So this is one of the packages which I'm not gonna get in this save game but I'm still gonna show you how to get it in this video with a different save game. Next package. You might remember this place very well from GTA 3. This is Cloud's High Road, the first High Road in GTA 3. What you do is jump from here and the package is right over, right over here. And now the first reward is a pistol. Every time you go to your safe house you're gonna see a pistol there. This one is in a very bad location, make sure not to be in a bike or a car, just be on foot. Very important and you can see another package in the distance right over there. But that's not possible yet, I need to get a boat and in order to get a boat I need to go to Stoughton Island, which is what I'm gonna do in this episode. I'll see you later Mr. Package. Again, not a very good spot for a package to be in, but it's over here and we can still see the other package in the distance. Let's move on to package number 13. This is where in GTA 3 you could find body armor and AK ammo. In this little alleyway here, this is how to get in and there's the package. At Marco's Bistro, which is a pretty iconic location in GTA 3 and in San Andreas and in, well not actually in Liberty City Stores, but in San Andreas especially it was a pretty iconic place. We can find the next package. Under this train track where you can start a particular mission if you get on the Sanchez, if you get on the Sanchez you're gonna start the wrong side of the tracks mission, which is pretty much a race, a checkpoint challenge, 
And it's a package, which is why we are here. We are here for only packages and not talking about other missions. Over here, in this little alleyway, we can find a bribe, first of all, which could ha come in handy in the future missions, so remember that. And a package. Let's get the package and let's get out of here. Ammunition is here. And right behind ammunition, you can find the next package. Get away, people. I'm on a hunting spree today. A package hunting spree, if you will. Right next to Luigi's garage is the next package, we can find a freeway here, or an angel, sorry, it's an angel, and it's an Esperanto, and there's the package! Next one. In between lots of trees, you can find the next package, it's pretty well hidden, from that side at least, from this side it's not that well hidden, but the trees are popping, and as you can see, man, this game suffers from such horrible popping, even more so than San Andreas, San Andreas was notorious for this. Behind the only hospital in Portland, we can find the next package. And we got the shotgun in our safe house. That's the second reward. After 20 packages, you get a shotgun. For this one, get yourself a car. Any car is gonna do. Even a bike is gonna do. But I prefer a car because it's... It's easier to get on a car than on a bike. And there's the first package after package 20. So, 21. <laughs> package number 21. This is one of the harder locations for a package. It's on top of a roof. And you have to get a bike in order to get on top of the roof. Like this. Yeah, okay, the bike failed, but I didn't. Which is what's important. This is where in the last episode we did a rampage and I reminded you that we have a package over here and that we have to get it in this episode. So, here it is. This building in the beta of GTA 3 used to be a school, but they got rid of the idea because killing children was not a good idea, don't you think? So that's the package. This also was a location for the mission The Fuzzball in GTA 3. This one is on the Callahan Bridge. In between these two sides, bridges, I guess. Let's get it. And this is also where the other impossible package at the moment is located. You can only get it after officially unlocking Staten Island. The next package is right over here. It's a very difficult package, probably the hardest package to get in this entire game. So, get yourself a fast bike and take a ramp. The PCJ600 is the perfect bike for this. Get yourself up here. Okay, I fell. The bike fell, but I didn't fall, which is the best thing. This is probably my 15th attempt, or I don't know, 10th, 15th attempt. This is a very hard package you need to get, guys. Pretty close to Vincenzo's missions, we can find the next package. Is be between these two dumpsters. Next package, again pretty close to Vincenzo's mission, this is also where we got a armor pickup in GTA 3. The next package is in a fenced in area, you can take down the fence with a bike, with a molotov, with a explosive, whatever, with a car even, a truck, whatever. This is where we did the hardest mission in GTA 3, bomb the base act number 2. Uh, the way to get on this roof is by some stairs right over there. There are some stairs, and you can get on top of this roof, and the package is behind this thin jump. And there we go. 30 packages has been have been found. And body armor is always gonna be at your hideout. This one is very convoluted, so just follow me and I'll show you how to exactly take it. First of all, get yourself on top of this ship. Next, come here to the sides. You're gonna find some stairs which you have to take in order to get the package. Just get on top of the second story over here. Make sure not to fall in the ground because there's a little invisible hole you can fall and you can fall in and you can just die. Like that. There we go, there's the package. For this one you need to get on the train tracks from this location and you need to reach a certain destination. And this is where you have to end up. This is the dog food factory from GTA 3. Now it's currently not a dog food factory, it's a sausage fest. Sausage factory, sorry. And the package is move camera. Camera, listen to me. Thank you. So the package is over here. There we go. Next package. For this one, you need to get a bike. You need to go on top of a roof. In order to get on top of the roof, you need a bike. Like so. Stop before you fall. Holy crap, that was close. You can also find a weapon over here, but it's kind of useless because I'm getting packages and if you get all the packages you have enough weapons to last a lifetime. 
This is a very easy package. It's at the bus station or bus bus stop bus station. I guess bus station because we have lots of buses here. Again, you're gonna need a bike for this one. Get a Sanchez. I prefer a Sanchez for especially for this jump. You need to get on a few roofs. There's the first roof, second roof, third roof, and the fourth roof is the one you wanna get to. The reason why I prefer the Sanchez is because we have these little jumps and it handles the best. The best. It has the best suspension. And this is the last package you can normally get at the very beginning of the game. Without unlocking any other islands, this is the last package you normally get. However, with my methods here, with what I'm gonna show you, I'll show you how to exactly get to the other islands early and how to get the rest of the packages. So normally you would only have two weapons at the beginning and body armor at your safe house. And this is how we get to the other islands early in the game. This is gonna be the short version, so if you wanna see a more in-depth tutorial, just watch my tutorial, which is on the screen right now. But the basic idea is get over here to this location, get on this freeway, activate the mission, kill the driver, kill your driver afterwards, and get on the PCJ. If it's damaged, you need to take it to pen spray in order to repair it. After you do, speed up in this huge street, fall in the water, the bike is heavy and waterproof, so it's not gonna be a problem. And there we go, we are in Stoughton Island. If you wanna go to Shoreside Vale, you can do the same exact thing. Just jump in the water between Shoreside Vale and Stoughton Island and you're gonna teleport there. So for the next package what we need is a boat. This is a Sukas apartment in GTA 3. And over here we can find a few boats. We can find a few boats over here as well. And a few boats over here too. So let's take one and let's go to the first package. The first water package is over here on top of this rock. What you need to do is park your vehicle like so. This is a perfect par parking job. Okay, next package 37. Let's move on to the next water package. And this is the next water one. It's over here at the northeast side of Portland. What you need is a boat, of course. Get it on top of here. And I managed to get it stuck, which is not a good thing because I have to teleport back to Stout Island again. Do some tricks again. Eh, it's okay, I guess. Okay, so I'm not sure where exactly it is. I just know it's here. It should be down below. Let's see. The bad thing about this game is that you cannot control your camera. This is the package which I was talking about previously in this video. It's located right over here on this little island. I was right there. Let me show you. Right there. Which I got where I got the last package. Now let's go up on this ledge. Whew, okay. I'm safe. What we need to do is get over here and we got the 39th package. An extremely easy to find location. It's in front of the huge stadium. And after the fourth package you get an SMG at your safe house. Remember, you should not have an SMG at the beginning of the game, but I do, because I got to Stoughton Island without the game's permission. This package is visible during some cutscenes, so you shouldn't have too much trouble finding it. You could have some trouble finding this package especially. It's over here. Basically, if you find this ramp, you're gonna be able to find the package. This used to be an army base in GTA 3, but now it is not. And the package is over here. In GTA 3 this is a tunnel, but currently it is not finished in this game and they're currently working on it. That's why we have construction stuff over here. Right next to the hospital's parking lot is the next package. There we go. And right across the street is the next package behind this little wall. Another very easy package next to the water and next to the street. For this package you need to be on foot and you have to do some jumping. So let's do some jumping, shall we? Jump and jump, okay. On the edge over here is the next package. This one is pretty well hidden, so let me show you the exact route you have to take in order to get it. Over here take a right, take a left and behind a dumpster you can find the next package. 49 packages. This one is in the subway station over here. And this is how we get inside the subway station. And the package is on the left, we can see a train. And there's a package. 50 packages have been collected and I got a 0.357 which is the python. 
The next one is on the roof, over here, so you need a tow vehicle, the ambulance is gonna do perfectly fine, so get an ambulance, because it's easy to, easy to get and it's very convenient. On the PSP version of the game, this package is in a terrible location, I hate it, because you cannot control your camera downwards. On the PS2 you can, but on the whoo, on the PSP you cannot. Whoo, I survived. I survived. Right next to our hideout in the paint spray garage is the next package between these two dumpsters. Right next to Asuka's place is the next package behind this part of the bridge. Right behind the red container is the next package. Can you see the next one? Ah, uh, can you? It's over here, and it's hidden, right here, yeah, there we go. The next one is in a pretty bad location, you need to take an ambulance over here, you gotta take it down, and get on the roof. You can use another tow vehicle, not only the ambulance, but I find that the ambulance is the best to use here. Placing this package here is a crew, a very crew thing to do, thanks Rockstar for making me Walk over here, on a PSP, oh I got it at least. Okay, so what you gotta do is get a car on top of that ramp over there. And go this way, move the camera, stupid. Go this way, get on top of this ramp. And you have to precision exactly on... Yeah, see what happens. You have to precision exactly on that little walkway. On a PSP. Urgh, stupid placement. In Belleville Park, over here, is the next package. This one is a bit tricky, it's on top of the bridge, on the walkway right next to the bridge, and did I get it? I got it, okay, Whew. And the reward is an M4, an M4 is a very cool weapon, I'm gonna use it for so many missions, it's such a great weapon, seriously. A very easy and visible package from the street, over here at the graveyard. I'm not sure what type of a building this should be, but I'm pretty sure it's a town hall, but we have another town, town hall, this is the second one I guess, I don't know, let's move on to the next package. How very convenient, at the next package we have a bribe and I had two stars and I have one star now. You saw a weapon pickup over there, on top of that star, and the package is over here, let me show you on the map where exactly that is, get the package first, there's the package over here. Remember this star because I'm gonna use it for some missions. Again, an easy package. Here it is. In Phil's Cassidy's gun shop. Here it is, we can find the next package, it's pretty well hidden, shut up dude. I'm talking. It's pretty well hidden, you have to do some jumping in order to get it. Let's go over here. And there's a package. Right behind Big Shot Casino is the next package, this used to be Kenji's Casino in GTA 3, but now it's not. We have two more in Stolten Island, but they are not unlocked yet. And welcome guys to Short Side Veil, which of course is not unlocked yet, because this is also not unlocked yet. I'm at the very beginning of the game, if you wanna see again how I got here, just watch my tutorial, and let's begin with the remaining packages I can get in Short Side Veil. So the first one is over here, you saw the location, let's get it. 67 packages. The packages at the airport are pretty difficult to get, you are gonna need a bike for the majority of them, and there's lots of them here, so take this ramp over here, and we have to get in this enclosed area, in between these containers, and there's the first package. The way to get out is via this little ramp. For the next package we need to get on two roofs, on two ramps, technically it's not two roofs, but it's two ramps definitely. It's the same roof, but it, it has a separation. Don't fall. Also, <laughs> don't fall like me. Don't be stupid. Okay, let's go on this next roof. Which is the same roof, technically. And there's a package. And let's go down. Again, we have to get on top of a roof with a ramp. This is a trend now. <laughs> have to do it so many times. Especially in this area. This is why the packages in LCS are a lot more difficult than the ones in GTA 3, for instance, because in GTA 3 we didn't have bikes, we didn't have to go on top of buildings and whatnot, and the sighted sniper rifle has been delivered to our safe house. That's the reward after 70 packages. This one is a bit tricky because of the position of the ramp. It's over here. Let's go, let's do it. 
The position is kind of weird, you have to get on top of this roof and it's in such an angle that... Oh, okay, I got it from the first try, actually. This package sucks. Really, it does. Let's get on top of this wink of the... Think? Oh, I got it, first try! I remember the last time I did this, it took me so long, guys. It took me so long. But I got it first try. Give it to me, it's mine. Thank you. I lost my bike. Oh. You betrayed me. You need to explode. Oh, now you got to me. I can't use you though. You can relax, guys. Don't you worry. The next package is very easy to get. In between two ramps, we can find the next package. Another easy one, of course. Uh, such a relief after all these difficult packages. Seeing the moonlight. Anyway, there's the next package. I'll have some difficulties explaining where this one is exactly. It's over here. Is the package. There's no point of reference. I cannot point to anything which is sort of any significance. Good luck finding this one. You're gonna need it. Behind two billboards, over here, pretty close to the airport, is the next package. At the very edge of the entire map is the next package. Such a great location. This is a very memorable location in GTA 3. We had a cool mission over here, involving the Yakuza and the Colombians. Over here at the police station, we can find a nice package inside a little garage. And this is the 8th package and we get a flamethrower in our safe house, which is a completely useless weapon except for one mission. And even in that mission I may not use it, because I'm gonna have a rocket launcher later on. For the next package you're gonna need a tow vehicle such as the ambulance and this is very convenient because this is at the hospital. So you can get the, ho the ambulance from the hospital and get your butt up on this roof and get to the next package which is on this corner. And the package has been taken. Easy spot for a package, not very visible from the street but it's right next to the street over here. 82 packages. Right behind pay and spray is the next package. Over here at Donald's place we can find the next package in between this dumpster and this stupid box. Over here, on top of my favorite roof in the entire game, is the next package behind this ramp. This one is in a pretty bad location, over here next to the water, make sure not to follow it with the bike in here. In one of the most peaceful locations in the entire game, we can find the next package. Pretty close to it is the next one. In one of the most memorable locations in GTA 3, we can find the next package. Inside this tunnel, which was not present in GTA 3, we can find the next package and afterwards we got the last weapon available from packages. After package 90 you're gonna get a rocket launcher and after package 100 you're gonna get only money. And also this is gonna be the most used weapon from the package hunting. In the rich part of town where the cool cats are, I guess, is the next package. Behind two billboards is the next package. Is it actually three billboards? I'm not sure. A pretty easy location for a package, over here, next to the water, at the apartment complex, over here, is the next package. Do I say package too much? I think I do. In a very cozy park, we can find the next one, next to the water again. And this is the last package you can get at the very beginning of the game. The other ones need to be taken after passing certain missions, so I don't have access to them even with exploits. Now what I'm gonna do is, since I want this video to be complete, I'm gonna download a save game from the internet, go to these locations, take the packages and show you how exactly to get them. But first of course I'm gonna go kill myself and save the game in Portland. Oh and by the way, these are all the rewards from the hidden packages. We have a pistol, shotgun, armor, SMG, python, which we're gonna take, the M4, the sniper rifle, the flamethrower and the rocket launcher. The last weapon is from completing all the RAM pages. Okay, I'm here and I have downloaded a complete save game. This is the first two packages, they're located right over here. The first one is behind this little building, over here. And the next one is on top of this building. You need to get on this ramp to get on the building. Okay, this should be enough of a run-up, let's go as fast as possible, make sure not to hit any cars on the way, of course. Because you need to get on this roof with this ramp, this should be enough, yeah. This is some pretty good air time. Yeah, I'm going pretty high. 
And there it is. This is also a stun jump you have to complete. Okay. Now what you gotta do is go up these stairs over here. And after you do, jump down over here. And afterwards there's a little hole you need to take. Over here, there we go. And go down. You might remember this jump from the, uh, this package from before, which I talked about in this episode. This package is only available after the mission driving Mr. Leone, which unlocks the second island in the game. It's located right over here. Before that, there is just air, and you can't get to this package in any way. And this is the last package you're gonna see in this entire video. It's over here. It's only available after the mission bringing the house down. Afterwards, this is gonna explode, and you need to get over here to get the last package in the game. And the reward for getting all the 100 packages is 50,000 bucks, which is a pretty lousy reward. So that's it guys, so I hope this video helped you, and I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.